C'est un pays évoqué de plus en plus souvent depuis les attaques perpétrées par le Hamas dans le sud d'Israël. L'Iran évoque une action préventive contre l'État hébreu alors que Tsaal se prépare à une incursion terrestre dans la bande de Gaza. Mais que se passerait-il si l'Iran décidait de s'impliquer activement dans ce conflit Malgré les démentis de Téhéran, de nombreux experts estiment que l'Iran aurait contribué de manière significative à l'offensive du Hamas. Iran has been one of the long-time supporters of Hamas in terms of providing uh, trainings and logistics and smuggling arms and helping them to, to maintain their military capabilities. There are elements, particular elements of this last episode that, in my opinion, got people thinking whether there was a direct involvement in training and preparation. For example, the paraglider soldiers, these terrorists basically, entering Israeli border and, and committing these crimes. You cannot learn how to fly a paraglider in tunnels in Gaza. You cannot train how to fly paragliders in an area that is extremely security-wise, is extremely controlled. These must have been trained elsewhere. This is the fence? Yes, yes, this is Gaza. Comment la communauté internationale peut-elle se préparer à une éventuelle escalade des tensions There is no solution other than diplomacy. I think uh, the alternative has been tried, uh, which is flexing military muscles, uh, engaging in coercive kind of diplomacy through sanctions, uh, and it has only rendered Iran more aggressive in the region and more repressive at home. And the best thing that the international community can do, uh, both from a strategic and a humanitarian perspective in the short run, uh, is to get a ceasefire as soon as possible.